today is going to be epic. <laughs> We're gonna show you what it's like to come here in a canyon. <sighs> Welcome back to another episode of Ken Block's Guide to Awesome Can-Am Riding Spots. It's been a while since we've done one of these, so we figured we'd come back and hit you with a big one. Klamis, one of the uh, most infamous and best sand dune spots in the entire world. Yeah, one of the meccas for the motocross industry. So I grew up knowing of this place because of a lot of the epic stuff that went down out here. Crusty Demons of Dirt motocross uh, video that first started part of the the freestyle motocross movement and one of the most infamous jumps and crashes is of Seth Enslow where he just sends it way too far to flat. So another uh, person that came out here a lot and ripped around in the early days of freestyle was none other than Jeremy McGrath, the king of supercross. So he lives here in Southern California and this was an easy drive for him to come out here and rip around. So there's uh, movies like Steel Roots where he has some great shots in here. So really, those are like some of the most infamous things that I know from out here. But also we're very close to Hollywood, so I know that there's been a lot of TV shows and movies and commercials filmed out here. There's a Star Wars film that's been shot out here. Spaceballs, above all. Jarhead of the Scorpion King. Basically it's your like iconic desert Escape. I mean, this looks like Saudi Arabia. So geographically, Glamis is located in the southeast corner of California. The biggest major city is San Diego. It's about 156 miles to the west. So the next major city is Phoenix, and it's about 214 miles to the east. My home park city, about 700 miles to the north, slightly northeast. So if you're coming from, let's say, Chicago, it is 1,957 miles. Not only is a major part of the moto industry located here in Southern California, but the off-road world. A lot of people that race trophy trucks, dirt bikes, all that sort of stuff uh, are from you know, Southern California or build their products in Southern California. So coming out to Glamis is something just, it's a part of life here. That's another reason why this place is so infamous. But in general, it's just one of the coolest set of sand dunes in the entire world and a huge party spot. Not only can you come out here and rip around and have a lot of fun, there's actually big parties at say Comp Hill where people are racing up and down uh, a big hill full of whoops every night. Uh, but it's really genuinely quite cool. So I haven't been here in a long time. The last time I was here was for the filming of one of Monster Energy's Doonies video. I had the Raptor tracks out here. Monster Energy has done three of those Doonies videos and it really showcases this place in a very unique way. I don't know how long it is. It's a very long stretch of dunes. It goes all the way into Mexico. That's so, right. So this is actually the largest stretch of dunes in all of North America. It's about 40 miles long. It goes from basically Salton Sea all the way down to Mexico. It's about five to six miles wide at points. We can see Mexico from here. It appears to be on fire down there. Oh, but beautiful. <laughs> I spit hot fire. But it's a beautiful time to be here right now. It's uh, it's December. It's a Wednesday. There is nobody here. There's a few people, obviously. But on big weekends like Thanksgiving and New Year's, this place is packed. And it's crazy, but it's extremely fun at the same time. But it's super dangerous, too, because you got to watch yourself over every dune and everything you're doing. Timing-wise, the rest of the year, besides summer, it, uh, it's an incredible place. Even in the winter, it's quite good. You just gotta watch the weather, make sure uh, there's no wind. Absolutely unrelenting wind. Uh, in the fall and spring, it's just one of the best places to come drive a Can-Am and have a lot of fun in these dunes. And there's a lot of ways to come stay here. You can, you can camp, you can bring out a giant motorhome, you can stay half an hour or an hour away down in Brawley. So, there's a big variety of ways to come and enjoy this place. This is my first time out here. I was doing some research, right? Camping wise, it seems like there's like four big spots. Yep. Gecko Road where we're staying. Uh, this campsite has uh, tons of spots right off the side of the road as well as it's paved, right? And there is paved spaces and there's actually toilets here. 
So this spot's popular because you could basically, it's close to the actual dunes, uh, but you could pull up like a huge RV setup, trailer, all that good stuff. Next, the flats. This campsite's right in the middle of the action because it's located right next to the Glamis store and vendor row. So if you forgot to bring any supplies or anything, like, or you gotta rent some off-road vehicles, this is where you wanna camp. Now, the washes. This campsite runs along the railroad track. This site's fairly popular big rigs because the sand is a little more hard packed and gravelly, so getting stuck isn't much of an issue. Now, the canal, this campsite's exactly what it's named. It's right next to a canal. So when I was growing up, people came out and rode dirt bikes and quads uh, and sand rails, but this sort of thing just didn't exist back then. Uh, and sand rails were quite, you know, one-off vehicles and were quite expensive, but this sort of setup is really ideal for here. You can rip around through these dunes do it inside a very nice roll cage and have a lot of fun. And if something breaks, you do something stupid and break a control arm, it's very easy to get one and replace it, unlike those sand rails, which are all one-off parts. I'm really enjoying coming back here and playing with this thing here. Uh, it's a Can-Am uh, Maverick X3 RS, customized by uh, S3 Motorsports, and it's actually beautiful you know you can see the simplest setup here is these very nice paddle tires on fuel wheels and the front is a very unique setup too uh, it's meant to bite and give you grip as you turn in so look if you want a full breakdown on this rig uh, just click the link in the description below it's a full video on it in detail what are we gonna do should we go and send it we're gonna go out to Oldsmobile Hill Gecko Road Sand Highway we're gonna show you what it's like to come here and really experience this place in a really fun and unique way in a Can-Am. We have a special guest coming today too, right? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. But probably more on that later. Also, I think you should drive some today. I should. Yes. I should. I mean, you've never driven in the dunes before. I want to see your reaction, potentially see you send it. Okay. <laughs> you got to twist my arm. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Mobile Hill. It's so back in the early days of the sand rail, basically when that whole thing was evolving, right? People used to basically take their cars, strip the body panels off of them because they found out they were lighter and they'd like float better across the sand. And then eventually, the guys who were making it up this hill most frequently were driving what they called water pumpers, which were frequently Oldsmobiles with all of the bodywork stripped off using a water-cooled engine as opposed to like an air-cooled engine, like a VW. There you have it. That may be like slightly incorrect, but you know, look it up. It's pretty cool.
now. This is sick. Well, I'm glad you think so. It's also super sketchy. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> is the situation sketchy or am I sketchy? No, no, no. You just, you know what, like, you're just... It, I just don't like riding shotgun, man. Me all either. The time. I'm with you. But driving was sick. All right, well, we have some guests that showed up. Oh. So, uh, very beautiful sand rail sitting over there. So, um, I think we should go check that out. Because, for me, for Glamis, that's what I know. Like, as a kid, these didn't exist. I wanted one of those. Those still exist. They're ten times as expensive as these. But... I think it's a cool thing to show that element and part of Glamis. Uh, yeah, I'm with it. I think we should do that. All right, let's go check it out. Well, hello there. Hi. Please introduce yourself to the camera. My name is Tatum Ronco with Tatum Motorsports. And what is this uh, offshore speedboat of the sand that you have here? This is a Tatum Motorsports TRX4 loaded with a ton of added accessories and upgrades, a sunroof, um, upgraded 3.0, 4.0 King shocks. It has a red line, dark tall deck, 454 twin turbo. Wait, all I care about is how much horsepower is there. <laughs> 2,000 horsepower at the wow. tank. Damn. 17 what? something at the tire. And does it do wheelies? It wheelies, yes. Yes. <laughs> in, oh, yeah. In every gear. 2,000 horsepower. horsepower. Yep. Even at the, okay, 17 ish yeah. at the wheels. Yeah. Dude, Either one is impressive, right? Yeah. You got a big twin turbo V8. Yep. With all the party. Yep. And by the way, beautiful interior. It's an automatic? No. Oh. Five speed sequential. Five speed sequential. Yep. And you know what these are, Zach? Cutting brakes? Yeah. Cutting brakes. Yeah, they're hand brakes, but it operates each of the rear wheels. Wait, this is all paint? Yeah, on carbon fiber. So this is a custom laid carbon fiber body. Really? A custom hand. So the whole thing's carbon. Yep. What does a paint job even cost for something like this? I think in the twenty to thirty thousand dollar range. Damn. Yeah. Okay, so literally like the cost of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the supercar of the off-road world. You know, whereas that's a very fun toy that most anybody can get into. This is the exotic car. Like what is something like this run cost wise? This car sits a little over 300,000. <clears throat> okay. The car comes standard at 169. And I see Tatum is like laser engraved or like laser cut and welded on like everything. Do you guys make all these parts yourselves or is this? Yep, we make all the parts in house. Um, suspension parts, steering rack, we make the beadlock wheels. Wow, so basically it's like everything has to come through you guys essentially. Okay, so a lot of one-off parts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I dreamt about this sort of setup. The giant motorhome, the trailer, uh, a vehicle like this. So this is the, uh, the Uber highest end way to come out and enjoy a place like Glamis. Yep. And, but the Can-Am didn't exist when I was a kid. Yep. So now, you can start with that and maybe eventually end up with one of these. Way, yep. But for right off the dealer floor, that thing's pretty amazing. 195 horsepower, you know, factory, you know, just basically you can get parts everywhere. 2000 horsepower, all like basically custom one-off stuff and uh, super sick. Now it does wheelies. Yes. Would you be willing to demonstrate some wheelies? Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Would you to go for a ride? With yeah, I, I would yeah, go for a ride. <laughs> I'm, I'm I, I think I need to drive along next to it, or maybe I can keep up, get yeah, that angle, get it. the car to car angle. Okay. All like, right. That, we I'm might cool. blow the doors off you, but. <laughs> Perfect. ridiculously fast. So that's no boost. That was no boost. Now we have boost? We're gonna go to two. Oh. We'll see how two to, works. To two. So we were at one? We were at zero. I uh, passed one. We went straight to two.
drive some today. Okay. <laughs> Officially a desert person now? I want to be a desert person. Help me, desert weirdos! This is fun. I mean, like, it actually makes it, like, you can just come out here and rip. And yeah. you can do so much. Like, even an idiot like myself could drive. And there's a smile on your face. Yes. Big smile. I appreciate you. Great way to end this uh, Glamis trip, my first Glamis trip. Nice little campfire by camp. You're a sand person now. I'm, I've seen it. I'm full sand person. So yeah, I had a blast out here. I think I could do a lot more of this. Well, it's good to see you actually get out and try and rip around on the dunes. Yeah, it's eating. I didn't crash I mean, anything. I was a responsible adult. Nothing I, broke. Yeah, I think this was a successful day. Tatum, appreciate you coming out. Of course, thank you for having me. Showing us your whip. Yeah. Ken, thank you. Yeah. And then uh, Can Am, thank you, because uh, these are rad. Performed yeah. flawlessly, didn't have to fix anything. Good way to end the day sunset, fire, maybe some adult drinks. <laughs> Good plan. Yes. On All that right. note, that's a wrap. Right.